There are two primary ways to create entities and relationships. First is a data-centric method. Second is a diagram-centric method. For the data-centric method, anytime you see a class folder, you can simply double-click on that class folder to create an entity. You'll get a dialog that allows you to name the entity. Here, you can use the default name or enter your own. I'll name my entity Making Coffee and click OK. To create a relationship from an entity property sheet, I can double-click on a relation. In this dialog, I'll need to specify a target entity. I can use any pre-existing entity or create an entity here in this dialog. There are two ways to create a new entity in this dialog. I can click the New button or double-click on a folder. I'll double-click on the folder again and name my entity Heat Water. I can also create relationships by dropping one entity on top of another in the browser list. I'll first create another function and name my entity Pump Water. Now I'll drop Pump Water onto Making Coffee. Genesis prompts me with the valid relations for this class. I'll select Decomposes. We've already explored two methods to create entities and two methods of creating relationships from a data-centric perspective. Let's switch over to a diagram view and learn a few more. I'll first select my Making Coffee entity, then the EFFBD tab at the bottom of my screen to view the EFFBD of this entity. Note that any targets of the decomposed by relationship will appear on this view. Since we've already created two targets, they are shown here. I'll create a new entity by dragging New Entity onto the diagram and dropping it where I want to see it. This method creates a generically named entity. I'll right-click on it and select Rename Entity. I'll rename it Wait for Coffee to Pass from Filter to Carafe. Although I only appeared to be creating an entity, I actually created a relationship at the same time. Anytime I drop an entity on the background of a diagram, I am creating a relationship between the parent entity of the diagram, in this case making coffee, and the entity I dropped on, wait for coffee. Exactly which relationship I am creating is specific to the diagram. I can drag any entity onto the diagram to create relationships from the key entities or all entities icons in the toolbox. Let's click on the All Entities icon and create a new requirement. I'll call it Heat Water to 195 degrees. Next, I'll drag that entity onto the diagram and drop it on top of Heat Water. Genesis prompts me with the valid relations between functions and requirements. I'll select Basis of. Notice that even though I created the relationship in the diagram, the new requirement is not shown here. This is because requirements aren't shown on EFFBDs. If I open a property sheet of the heat water entity by double-clicking on it, I can see the basis of relationship was created. We've shown you four methods of creating entities and four methods of creating relationships. This video focuses on the methods most valuable and relevant to a new Genesis user. As you become a more advanced user, you'll likely find many more methods.